Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm participating in 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 16. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. If you're visiting from Christie's playlist, welcome. I'm so excited to have you, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Um, today we are working on sketch number nine and today's sketch is by Claudia Henderson. I will have everybody's information linked below if you would like to check out Christy's Facebook group where you can find all these amazing sketches. I will have that linked below if you want to check out the collaborative playlist where all of the YouTubers who are playing along can um, um, add their videos. You can check that out. That'll be linked below as well. So lots of inspiration to be had. There's a lot of people playing along this time, so that's exciting. And this particular series, I haven't been mentioning in all of my videos, but there's definitely a theme. It is all double page sketches. So if you are a tried and true double page scrapbooker, this is definitely the series for you. So today we are working with this and i am working on a layout from my disney trip in 2014 so double page layouts is not what i typically scrapbook and so this series is going to be helpful in getting all of those photos onto layouts so i'm excited about that okay so most of the photos in this layout were taken in Frontierland, so I did title my layout The Land of Yesterday. A couple of them are not, and that's okay. Um, nobody is going to be upset with me about that, I hope, <laughs> but whatever. Um, and here is our sketch. So Claudia's sketch had all of these strips along the side. So I had this, and I can't remember where I got it from, but anyway... I had this six by eight paper pad that is Disney themed. It's called Say Cheese at the Park. And it kind of had different papers that were themed for diff the different lands in the park. And so I thought that would be kind of a fun way to do a layout that had a lot of photos from Frontierland. So I picked the papers that I thought reflected that and I used those ones on my layout in smaller strips because which also a six by eight paper pad is perfect for right because you're using those smaller patterns so they show up better on your layout and you're using smaller pieces so that was fun and i thought before i put this away i thought i would show you guys a little trick that i do when i am using a six by eight paper pad and i end up with some scraps so it's hard to keep track of those little scraps but I do like to hang on to them until I'm done with the paper pad because the point of having a six by eight paper pad is to, you know, um, have those smaller patterns. And six by eights often get mistaken for like being just for card making. And I don't think that that's true. I like them on, a, even on this double page layout, I like that smaller pattern on a larger um, layout because it brings so much more interest. So this is just a loose piece of packaging from like a sticker sheet or something. And when I'm done with these, I just stick them in a drawer beside me if they're still in decent condition. And then I just cut the kind of messy piece off. And then I just add some adhesive to it. And then I'll stick it on the back of this paper pad. And I do this with my six by sixes and my six by eights. And I just stick them on the back here. And that way I can tuck my smaller scraps into that pouch or that packaging. And then they're not loose falling all over the place. And then I just have like a little pocket for my scraps. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you. This one's a little bit too big still, and that's okay. It can tuck in with the other loose papers on the inside of the paper pad. There we go. So that's a little something I wanted to show you. If you're interested in watching me work with six by eight papers, I am doing a series 
on my store page I, I do some things for my local scrapbook store anybody can watch it's a public page and you can um, pop over there I will link our store page below it's just a Facebook live and we do them on Tuesday nights so if you're interested in that you can come and watch um, yeah so I'll link our store page below okay so here we go let's see what's going to happen with this layout I'm not even sure what I want to do I just pulled some things that I thought would coordinate um, from my Disney bundle box iris container where I keep my things so in addition to the paper pad I also had the washi tape so I used these two washies from the washi tape pack um, of that same collection um, I used a strip here and then a strip at the bottom for those so those got on there uh, what else I used thickers for my title the land of yesterday these little photo corners were left over from a layout that I did a long long time ago and they had resurfaced recently so I just added them to my layout and I think they look great I actually had three of them and was planning to use them as like chevron pieces almost but the third one got adhesive stuck to it and lost some of the top layer and so I threw it out and I used them as photo corners on my page so and I like how it looks so that worked out so let's see um I found that this paper didn't have a ton of um, images that I could fussy cut for like die cut pieces or images to use on my layout it also didn't have cut apart cards for like journaling and stuff so I went to my Disney iris container looking for something similar in color to use for embellishing and I came up with this say cheese collection it's an old one it is from 2013 probably bought around the time that I decided I was going to scrapbook this but it wouldn't have been bought new it would have been bought like secondhand thinking I need to get around to that album and here I am getting around to that album yay me so I have some cut aparts I did type up a little bit of journaling I'm not gonna say much it's us at Disneyland so put everybody's name on there um, and I'm just gonna do that and then I have some tickets that I got from 49 and market I have some acrylic shapes from close to my heart I have some enamel dots I have some shape sprinkles from doodlebug I have some other enamel dots from Altenew I have some recollections stars and I have some cut apart cards that's where I got my journaling piece from uh, some more here those bingo cards and then another scrap that I thought maybe those cameras would be cute if I fussy cut them out and then I have this like partial sticker sheet and I think that is all I pulled out so let's see what I can do with that so I'm going to start with my journaling because that is what I already know I want to do is to get that on there so I was thinking I would just add that on here Hear that because I feel like it's gonna lift if I don't. Maybe I'll add a little bit of wet glue on that part where it's separated from the pattern, separated from the white part of the paper. 
This was really cheap thin paper that I found to mount my photos, uh, map my photos, however you want to say that, at, while I was at the crop that I prepped my pages at. Um, it was just on like the make and take table, or not make and take, give and take table. I just went over there and I was like, oh, I need just a plain piece of brown paper to do that with. And I found this piece. So worked out just nice. Okay, there we go. So I got some journaling on there. And let's see what's on this sticker sheet that I could possibly use. Um, well, I like this little tag and it kind of is similar to the stars that are in that washi. So I could put that over here somewhere. I do love in this. What else? Happiness starts here. And I like these arrows, but I just don't know where to put them. These ones. What else could I put on here? I think that's good for now from the sticker sheet. I might use some of these stars towards the end. So I'll leave that up there. And I'll put my other like finishing touches up there with it. Okay, so let's see. What about cut apart stuff? That's kind of big. There's no mouse present. Insta magic. No, you and me. Love this magic moment. I wouldn't say that. We're all ears. That doesn't really go this would have been cute if I had put it in the strips but that was that ship sailed dream maybe the bingo card with the tag on it yeah maybe 100% fun I kind of like that I like that little piece. I'm going to see about punching that out. I don't see anything else on here that I am in love with. This, I already grabbed the bingo card. This is the same sheet, I think, so I don't really need to look too closely at it. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so we'll go with that and cut those edges. And I've switched up my ink color, guys. I'm not using black soot today. I'm using vintage photo. Look at me go. Just when you thought you had me figured out. Changing it up. Do I want it here, though? I kind of want it here. Cute. Okay. And then I'm thinking like these would be really cute if I fussy cut them and put one in each spot. But then I also have wood veneer that I thought about. And I pulled some cameras there. But I also pulled stars. And this guy. So I don't know if I need these. You know what I'm saying? I think they might be too big anyway. So I'm going to skip that. Now I'm going to look at my little, these guys. Okay, and 
it is all glued down. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I added a little punched out Mickey head over here as well. Um, I just thought that that needed to happen. And I put an eyelet into my tag and added some twine there too. But everything else I think we talked about. And I did um, still have my Mickey punch up on my desk. And I think that I'm going to just punch another piece out of a scrap here and add it up by my title over here just to balance out my title a little bit because my title is four words it has two turquoise and two red and so by adding this that just gives me that odd number and I feel like it just balances out my title a little bit okay there we go and the last things that I need to do is I need to add a date somewhere. So I preset my date stamp over here. And most of the photos, I think one of them was taken on a different day, but most of them were July 19th, 2014. So I'm just going to stamp that, I think, right here. I don't know if it will stay because this is like a slick surface but we will see if it does wipe off I'll just stamp it again somewhere else but for now that's where it's going and then I decided on using the Altenew uh, enamel dots in tropical forest and I, I'm thinking either this dark dark green or this lighter version so I'm just going to pull those out and see what I think when I hold them up to my layout so yeah, I do like the dark one and I'm just going to grab my tweezers and then I'm going to add a few enamel dots to each um, embellishment cluster around the layout. One in each size, but all in the same color. This one's trying to run away from me. Yeah, so I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. And I will get back to you just as soon as I can. I do love hearing from you guys. So don't hesitate to leave any, um, even just a little hello. And I will much appreciate it. Big thank you to Christy for hosting this series. It's always a big hit. And I'm really happy that she continues to put out the effort that it takes to do something like this. And thank you today to Claudia for um, our sketch. I really enjoyed working with this one. And I hope everyone has a great day. Bye for now.